Hi there. Thank you so much for joining me here on Lilimo Tams TV. If you're new on this platform, please ensure that you follow, like, and share all my videos for you to catch up with most of the things that I do on my platform. I just want to speak about my sister here, Millie and her husband. Many of you in the past have seen how I've tried as a friend, as a former friend, to advise Millie about how she comes on social media to express her concerns, to share her heartbreaks to the people of Zambia. Zambians have a soft spot for Millie and they tend to listen. Some laugh about it, some joke about it. At the end of the day, nobody uh, kind of like neglects her. We all have that soft spot for her. And I just want to give an advice. With the trending issue that is going on, I believe the husband uh, lost his dad same time as I lost my dad in America. So I wasn't really on social media. However, um, Millie is sharing in this video that I'll share next that she tried to go to the burial and the ex-husband told her not to go. He just wanted the children. Now, Millie, before I allow you to speak, I just want to say something. Over 10 years ago, I was in a situation where I had to choose between moving on with my life or continue giving birth for my ex. I decided to move on because it wasn't working. And when somebody walks away from you, it simply means that your destinies don't match. When I look at my life today and I look at his life today, God has raised me to the point whereby if I had still been holding on, the, bless the blessings that I'm enjoying today, I wouldn't have had them. You see, when God is moving you from something, it feels painful, I know. It feels like people will mock you, people will laugh at you, but it is for your own good. God can never be mocked. He does certain things in order for him to save us from shame, from evil, from death. But when we are still holding on to what he's trying to prevent us from, you know, continue pursuing, he will leave you at that. Mainly, it's high time you put a stop to this. Before I add anything else, listen to this. I greet you all today this lovely morning. This is midnight. I'm not sleeping. I just want you people that are awake to hear this, okay? I sympathize with them truly from my heart. And um, really, I don't know what to say. I've run out of words. Is everyone here? So what happened was, after the incident of the week, Are you all here? Join in, join in. Whilst me, I'm busting my bum to work for the children. Anita, how are you? To work for the children which Yahuwah has given me. That man went apparently and started staying with a tailor who stays in Kawata, all right? I won't mention the name of the tailor. You just put two pieces together. 
so apparently i had gone to support this so-called girl at her fashion uh, runway all right i did a live video while i was there i supported them and i remember that day i invited my avatar to come with me all right and that's how we went we had our arguments about the wigs i went i reported the matter and it was reported at the police the time of the funeral many of you did not know why i did not go to the funeral well i had gone to the funeral for mr mwanda's dad everyone welcomed me i thank you to the family for welcoming me and when i got back in the evenings because i took kenan and sarah all right so when i came back that evening Walter called me and said, eh, he didn't know that I had gone there. Apparently, he wasn't at the funeral house. He called me and said, eh, eh, my family says they do not want to see you here. And I said, okay, fine. All right. But I was there recently and there were a lot of people and friends of mine and what. I'm sure you saw a picture which I posted when I was at the funeral house. The day of the burial, you people, as per tradition, despite him getting my wigs and all that, I got the children ready in order for them to go and lay their wreaths. I just received a phone call from him. Don't come here. I'm sending a angle for the children. I said, okay, fine. Since I am the bigger person, I will not come. And neither will I put my children on a yango because these children apparently came from my womb. So if they are not going, they are not coming. All right? And that's how we stayed back. After we stayed back, you people, this woman was dancing. That woman that was dancing in that video was not the so-called man you know. It was a woman. Apparently, she's a tailor. And she would smile at me and she would do everything and things like that, you know. So this teller who lives in Kabwata now, they start sleeping together with Ba, Batata Kekenan. All right. Apparently, Batata Kekenan now moves in, moves to this woman's house. And when he moves into this woman's house, me, I'm seated minding my own business and living my life. I just get a message. Do you know that your, your husband was bent? He was bent a bucket. He wanted to take a bucket of water. Meanwhile, all my life I've just been working hard. You know, taking care of the kids, of course. That's my main priority. All right? So now, uh, aunt called me from his side and said, Do you know that your husband is in hospital? I said, ah. Which one now? Oh, if there is anything he's done, please just forgive him. Forgive him. He's in hospital. He's badly bent. Apparently, what I hear, this man was carrying a bucket of hot water. I don't know what happened. But he's been bent from the back bums all the way around to the stomach here. The only thing, they bandaged everything and whatever is remaining is just the, the delta. Mayonaka. Delta. Vonse vinapia ukukupia kupia. As I speak right now. But Tata Kekenan is at the hospital. They went to, I don't know which hospital they went. They wanted a police report. So they couldn't take him at the government hospital. So they ended up taking him at the private hospital. As I speak right now. But Tata Kenan is at the hospital. Apparently with this same woman. This same woman. Mwamveraka. So ndia vane vichitika. Nati mwe wantua mulungu. Respect. I am sure ni bucket ya element. Eh. Kugwa pamine hapo pansi kutu. Kwanja uku. Ukukonse uku. Kupiera atu mwevantua mulungu. Kupia. Manje. Nikunkala kwa buanji. 
What am I supposed to do? Me, I've got nothing to do with them. Let that woman take care of him. In a sinif na kumvera kokuti no, batata keke na niso, batata keke na niso. Wamene ujazankala. Apparently, even they took pictures when they were at the burial there. My onaka after everything that I've been through for that person, everything I've been through. My onaka everything I've been through. My onaka as I'm nesinga. Wamene ujawoya mbila zina F. Azamu nesinga. Azamu taking a care. Amu sunge kwa mene uja. This is sad. I didn't know he had gone to another. Yes, he went to another woman. They were sleeping with each other day, broad in, day in, day out. And he thought he could get to me. It can't get to me. Me, I'm a double orphan. The only person I have is my father in heaven. Mwayo onaka, mulu ungu uyu waku muamba uyu. Ndi wamene nidi na hen. Mwayo onaka. So, always remember one thing in life. The Bible says, do unto others what you'd want them to do unto you. All my life that I lived with you, I never wronged you. I never, not even once. Na wamene uyo mukazi uyo. Mulungwe kandia za kuonani. Ine, there is nothing I can do. Mul, bati mulungu waku mwamba. Ndia za kulangani. And this is a message from me who bore your children went to pay for my own labor. Raised them. Even up to now I'm still raising them. And I'm still building a legacy for them. FF you smile at me. Oh, Millie, I love you. You were singing John Chingambe, eh, Shan Shani. Lesa Zakulanga. A Zakulanga kuyambile kutukumotu wako to amine otu. Because me have never wronged anyone in life. And this is a warning to every one of you that have friends, you so-called friends, stay away from bad people. You understand. So, in sinis wapena ni satana na kutumani. Ashachani, you know, today I had a dream. I took off my rings and gave them back to him. I took them off like this. Mwanveraka. So, kwa mene uko muzankala, niribena iwe na nchito. Sinifuna no kuona na pamene upita na podia. And besides, that incident of the wigs, the report is still there. Report is still at the police station. I want my wigs back. If you got those wigs to go and give that woman, please, I beg you, for the love that you have, for the children that I carried, na papata, kadibwezele cha bema wigi anga buino buino, because you made me shout at Esnat, who is an orphan. Cried her eyes out. Red eyes. I cried like there was no, like there was a funeral that day. I cried. I rode down. Bamaka is a cried. Esnat, I found Esnat packing, packed her bags, went to her mother's house. Esnat that have raised when she was young like this. Yet you were comfortable. And you knew very well. Even when you were living here. You knew very well. You go and do your own wahala day. You de burn your bum. Everything you de burn. Only delta na, na, na gorimena. 
Mulungu, Sio Soberesa, Tatea Kekenan, Munimvera. I know you are going to watch this video together with that uh, woman. You are going to watch this video. Mulungu, Sio Soberesa. Mulungu, ni oyopa. Ine wa maibanga wenzo pempera. You don't know why she threw my cord. You don't know the tears that I cry every night when I don't have money for rentals, when I don't have money to feed the children. You don't know the tears that I wake up in the middle of the night when you'll be snoring. You have no idea. So, mo hospito, mo amene umo, mo abisa ko hospito ko, but ine ndishini kuziba ko hospito. There is nothing hidden under the sun. The world is this small. Wanveraka, I told you I was going to get you the, the, the divorce papers. I told you. Wanveraka, so you were FF. Aoba muna uba sunge na kupasa. Wanveraka, but uba unyuzire kocha bechi nitu chimozi. Utimiri wamene muna tengela mawigi mubweze reni. Mubwezele ni midi, miri ya mna mso kwe kazi ya. Umubwezele. Mwambela ka? Umubwezele mawigi ya cha. Kunire tela. Waliko hospital kwa bankala kwa almost 5-6 days, so if I'm not mistaken. Mwambela ka? Nisee muna kuli mtu aliense wamena mani amba. Ine nili becho ipa na mtu. Today you smile at me. Tomorrow you smile at me. You talk against me. Me I don't fight. But my... So guys you've listened to what Millie has to say. From her explanation. A friend has betrayed her. Somebody she thought was a close friend has betrayed her. And I've read comments from social media where people are saying. Oh, but this is karma. She did this to this one and this one. Guys, in this situation, if you look at everything that has been going on around Millie's life, this man has never been faithful and truthful to Millie. That's why he can cheat on her with somebody close to her, trying to bring embarrassment and shame to her, trying to hurt her. Unfortunately, these type of men are there and they are toxic. So Millie, this is to you. I know you will try to do videos to insult me, to ridicule me, because you think I'm mocking you or laughing at you. But privately, many times I've reached out to you. Many, 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 many times. I don't even know which number you're using now. When we try to call you, you are busy all over social media doing other things. So we've left you. But you keep on embarrassing yourself on social media. You keep on entertaining people. You keep on entertaining young children on Facebook. Merely, regardless of what uh, people will be telling you, hey, come to Facebook, do this and that. My dear, the people you are entertaining, they have their home secure. The people you are entertaining, they have their houses, things are intact, they are cooking for their husbands, they are doing to chower to their husbands, whilst on the side they are listening to earphones as they are cleaning, listening to your videos. Millie, how many times have I called you Millie in this video? There's a time, Millie, when people in the diaspora used to rush to watch your videos. There was a time when you had glory on this social media. Before all of us even knew live stream on Facebook, merely you were among the few Zambian people that started this. You were the first Zambian that I know, a blogger that reached 1 million views. Go and check your friends who are 1 million followers on Facebook, socialize what they are doing, the money they are bringing in. They don't bring embarrassment. If they are doing anything to bring embarrassment, it's for entertainment i.e. Motale Mwanza. She entertained us the last time with Tegri. We knew it was just them calling fans here and there. But they don't bring their personal life to social media. Millie, you've known me for how many years? You've never seen me come on Facebook to come and complain about A, B, C, D. If I don't even tell you that I've broken up with my ex for many years, many people didn't even know. 
They didn't even know. Why? Because merely respect is reciprocal. Umuntu are kutukana, you two are also going for me to kutukana. Umuntu are kusevana, you two are saying, I'll show you, I'll do this and that. At the end of the day, you are just breeding this animosity. You have children. If you didn't have children, me, it would have been an easy thing for you to just say, ah, and But you have children. Mili, based on the history that you know, the first thing you should be thinking of is protecting your children. Based on the history of the person that you are with, that every Zambian even knows the history of his incarceration, you should never even joke with this person. Take your life seriously for once. Take your life seriously. If tomorrow anything happened to you, who's going to look after your children? You're looking after more than seven children, more than 12 people in the house. Every shoulder of school fees and what is on your head, you are the breadwinner and therefore behave like one. If you need counseling, Mili, there's so many organizations you can go to in Zambia. You can check in yourself even for mental health just to speak to someone. Even Kuru Aroi Siatuambo. They have secret counselors, confidential, that will help you to sit down with you and analyze your situation. Because tomorrow we'll see you, you are crying. Tomorrow we see you, you are happy. Tomorrow we see you, you are doing this. Tomorrow you are coming back. Now you, you are hurt because the man is with somebody you know. It should never even bother you. You are the custodian of the children. You are the one who is having the children in your custody. Put things in place, my sister, now. If it's a will, put it now. These are... These are things that we Africans, we are scared of because if you do it, eh, you would. My sister, life is spiritual. The more you keep on entertaining certain things, fichitika. your health is very important. You can think as if you are healthy. Kwari wana slow BP. Kwari wana maluela yesa. Because of all these spiritual things that you are going through, you started very well. Many of us were happy. We were even proud when you were calling him a sure him a share. Suddenly, all that is gone. We wake up today, it's Monwanda has done this. We wake up tomorrow, I want to have a baby. We wake up this, we, even this, after this video, you, you will do a video insulting without even understanding what I'm saying. And I'm sure my people will be saying, Auntie Lillian, you shouldn't have said anything. Because to you, you don't even understand people who truly love you. Hey, Nadi, I'm no longer talking to you because I don't want to have friends around. People who love you, Mili, will reach out to you like I've always done. And to do the truth. My sister, there are times when I've seen you even mocking pastors. You never even know, even the same Kakande ministries you mock, maybe is even the solution to your problems. Secretly travel. You can go to Uganda and find your solution there. There are other pastors in Zambia. Forget about people who are fighting pastors on social media. You'll find that one of the pastors is the person that can help you to change your solution. Your solution is spiritual. It's no longer physical. If you like me, you complain in 2024. In 2025, you come and complain. In 2026, you come and complain. Every year, as you're complaining, your friends are secretly building houses. Your friends are secretly raising businesses. Your friends are getting married. Your friends are relocating. Your destiny is so big. That is why you are facing this. Your destiny is so great that you cannot be associated with certain people in your life. You need to be connected with people who pray. Because if you are with someone like your ex-husband, I know you, I don't know whether you finalized or you finalized and I don't know. If you are with someone like him, your life will slow down. We have seen many women six feet under because they were holding on. I know you say you move, you've moved on, but every week there must be something. If a man 
says, don't come to the burial of my father. And you two decide to stay at home. Fine. For him to say that, it means he doesn't even count you. He doesn't even regard you. He doesn't even count your other children. He only asked for his biological children to go there. And yet you lived together as a family unit. And with such a bereavement, everybody will be affected in your home. Because you've lived with this person for some years now. And he still comes to see the children from your house. So he is family, he is blood. Please, my sister, there are so many men out there that can love you beyond your imagination. is not a passport for you to be abused. is not a passport for them to ridicule, to put you down. Merely, every time I see Nigerians selling those cream products and they are selling outside, I always remember the days when I said, Mili, you be a star. Mili, if you had held on at that time, by now, you would be flying different countries. Recently, we had a lady from Zimbabwe, my titi, straight from prison. She's already supplying creams all over, all over the world. You can do better. You can also do the same. This relationship has really disturbed your business, the way you operate, the way everybody just loved and respected you. We will continue to love you. Bearing in mind, Millie, we don't want it to be too late. We don't want to say, I may not be your friend or your cup of tea, but my sister, what you're going through and what you do on social media, it worries me. Because tomorrow, Millie, people will say, you've got female children that need you you've got male children sons that need you you have us who love you please my sister if you know that if only you can know where God is taking you you can never joke around Mili, today I receive offers from all over the world offering me opportunities to run their businesses. Even just today, I went to a meeting of Bazungus. They looked for me on one of the platforms and they said, please, can you come to our office? I went there today. Why, Millie? Because I stood tall. I trusted in God and God never failed me. God can never fail. Do you know one thing I love about God? He is a God of second chances. No matter how much you fall, you rise, you fall, you rise. That is why he is the savior and he saves us by grace. So we can even be complaining about, hey, this one, today they are drinking, tomorrow they are in church. God will still accept them. So even you, don't leave it too late. The man's behavior alone can tell you. Now he's in hospital, he's bent his bum. And now the family is calling you. It's today now that you are important. They are calling you. But at the funeral, they do not call you. They are calling you because they know that you are going to remove money for the hospital bill. So that you pay from your pocket. They are even addressing you as husband. All this while, you've been having issues. They are coming to Facebook. Where were they to intervene with his behavior? It's today now they are calling you to say, come, he's in hospital. Our wife, your husband is in hospital. Today now you are important. When he's been staying with another woman, people will use you because they know that they can benefit from you. But they don't mean well. Allah, if only we could see Miti Mashava and to the hearts of people what they think of us, we can't even be picking up those phone calls. But because we think everybody loves us, that's why we pick up phone calls. But they land us, ah, your husband, your husband, he's not feeling well, blah, blah, blah. But at the hospital, he's with another woman, but they expect you to go there. As who? Already palinomu salula. My sister, for the sake of your future, which is bright, please make this the last time you ever talk about this man on Facebook. 
he is just draining from you he is making you no longer popular because now people all they do is just mock you laugh at you and tomorrow again you come complain what type of love is this all over land that love chipua i've never seen this type i've never i don't know whether it's juju is involved i don't even understand it anymore none of us understand can you do better with your can you stand up and do something it's never too late to go back to school and get extra qualifications it's never too late for you to meet up business people that can mentor you it's never too late for you to even meet up with people in nigeria and expand your brand it's never too late for you to even get american visa i will insist on america because i have seen it that your destiny is there i have seen it that god is opening doors for you there open your eyes shine your eyes well well there is a door for you in america stop wasting your time with this guy if you like call me i will tell you what you can do for you to be in america and for you to just have a break even if it's 6 months go on holiday you meet people and there are things you can do to expand your business my sister god loves you you can do better if god did it for me he will do it for you that's a god i know takwa takapatulola lesa he is a fair god he is a just god but it starts with you calling on him and leaving everything behind once you do that you will see how god will help you you will see how god will change your story you will even be testifying in different platforms you will even be telling people look at this this is my story i am now here to you people that follow her on social media it's not a time for you to be talking about kama a kama b life is not a nigerian movie there's nothing like kama a kama b some men can just be stupid because they want to be worshiped and that's why they behave anyhow so it's not a time for us to talk about that this is a time for us to warn mili for the sake of the children mili i've seen women who have left their children it's not a good sight when we niweka wadisho for badedia when we niweka you know the schools they are going to when we, so please mili we reka uyu mulmendo kupere bibi we reka akaka mulmendo kakufurunga nyo mutima mili people go to bed they don't wake up you are waking up by the grace of god it means there is hope for tomorrow so better you change it now don't listen to all these people of ayokupatulla hey don't listen to this one don't talk to this one have so and you be there also angry and doing videos my sister if you don't listen to me mili keep this video for the record one day you wish you listened i don't want it to be too late for you please biko biko i don't want it to be too late for you mili don't allow the enemy to trap you so that you don't know where your future is life is spiritual the enemy will set trap set people around you so that you don't see where god is supposed to take you your future is too bright those your beautiful children you have with their singing voices like kezia they have brighter futures elsewhere but it starts with you the mother you are the key to your children's success to go lelomotaps